Hi, and welcome to section 2, Basics of our Dart application. In this section, you will know how to start programming in Dart. This will be our first step of programming in Dart. We will start working on our sample application in Dart, and also how to interact with the DOM. We will add some styles to our application and start implementing a navigation system in our sample application. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with interacting with the DOM. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a function in Dart and see what happens when a user clicks on a button and how to capture that. How to get on the value of an input field and how to set some content on the web page with the Dart code. First, we're going to add a text input field and a submit button on the page. The output will be our div, where the content will be submitted in. Now we can run our application, and you will see that the input box and the button are added to our page. Pub, serve, will listen to the changes and will update the outcome right away. Isn't that great? When we serve now to localhost, port 7777, we will see our changes. When you click on the Submit button, then nothing happens. That is what we will change now. First, we open the client.dart file. This is the starting point of our application. In this Dart file, we see a main method. This will be called when the page is loaded. With the Query selector, we can get access to our Enter button. And on this button, we can put an on-click event. So whenever a user clicks on a button, the function clicked on enter will execute. For now, we will print the text yes in the console of our browser. When we clicked on the submit button, we will see yes in the console. Now we will extend our method clicked on enter. First, we need to query our input field. We need to do that by using Query Selector. And then, we need to append our input value to our output div. This results in the following outcome. Now we can add our input values into another section of the page. This looks terrible, right? In the next video, I will show you how to add some styling in our application. In this video, we have learned how to create some basic interactions with our web page, how to anticipate a click on a button, how we can get the value out of our input field. We also saw how to append the text to a div.